gonna go to the post office so I drove down there you know to check the mail I was hoping to receive a, a love letter I pulled in the park and I noticed this car next to me and the guy's sitting in there tapping his steering wheel you know like he's been there a long time waiting the car looks pretty beat up Suddenly, I see a woman come out of the post office. She comes over to the car. When she opens up the door, she says something, and he says something, and all of a sudden, they're both yelling. And she's yelling, I'm not sitting on all that crap. I'm not just sitting on this crap anymore, OK? I'm not sitting on the crap. And he starts taking the crap off the front seat, and he's throwing it in the back seat. And he's throwing stuff, and he's throwing stuff, and I wonder just how much crap can there be? This goes on for a while. Finally, she's waving him off, and she gets in. And now they're both just screaming. And he backs out of there, burning rubber. And he swings it over and floors it and burns rubber down the street and you can hear him screaming all the way down. I wasn't sure if I should take this as an omen, you know what I'm saying? So I went into the post office. Yeah, and my post box was empty. There were no love letters. And then I realized you don't get any love letters unless you write them. I better go home and start writing some love letters. Yeah, I'm gonna start writing them. I'm just gonna tell you how much I love you. Yeah, you gotta write those love letters. If you want love letters. I mean, you gotta reach out. We all wanna get love letters. some love letters or just tell the person that you live with you love them I don't know when's the last time you said that you should make it a habit you know what I'm saying 